Okay guys, welcome back to our Let's Play of Thief Gold. Uh, we are on the mission Assassins right now. Mmm, some coffee. And uh, as I said at the end of the last video, uh, this is one of the better missions in the game, especially once you get to the manor. So I'm very excited to get into it. So let's go ahead and start it. Just checking the record here. And let's get back to it. All right. Okay, so we're gonna need as many waters as arrows as we can get. I always max those out. Um, and actually, I'm gonna get a bunch of moss arrows too. And I think that's pretty much all we need for this one. That shot was meant for me. I'm sure it was Garrett in the window. He's dead. Let's head back now. These creeps are gonna lead me right back to whoever sent them to kill me, but only if I can tail them without them noticing me. Don't know why the game is always giving us fire arrows. Because uh, we seldom need them. We only needed them in the last mission to solve a puzzle. It may actually restart here because um, I might accidentally let them get too far behind. But I just want to make sure I get all the loot and stuff from his shop. Damn. I guess I lost their trail. Yeah. All right. Well. Same thing. go ahead and make a save at the beginning here. Let's, uh, we can save over that. That shot was meant for me. Yes, I'm sure it was in the window. It's dead. Just gotta be quick about it. <laughs> These creeps are gonna lead me right back to whoever sent them to kill me, but only if I can tail them without them noticing me. I hope my Steam overlay is not uh, being recorded because it keeps, uh, like, a buddy of mine keeps trying to log into one of his games because it keeps popping up. Alright. His AI isn't so oh, now, okay. I was like, dude, come on. Don't be like that. Just gonna go right here. Just gonna wait for them to pass. didn't hear anything. There now. Probably gonna stop here and turn around. No? No? Okay, good. <clears throat> I think the first time I ever played this I found it difficult. I don't know why. I think I just wanted to go faster. I was getting annoyed with going so slow. I just know there's a couple of good spots you're going to want to save to save yourself from some trouble, but uh, that's pretty much it. It's not too bad. So there is some metal up there, too. Stop. Is someone following us? Yeah, so you really got to wait here. I feel like I want to come back here before the mission's over. There's some doors and stuff I feel like I want to pick the locks to. 
Although I think they reuse this map for the Lost City when you have to break into the Lost City, so... I've always thought, like, is that magic or is it supposed to be arcing electricity? I never understood what the that particle effect on top of the lights is supposed to be. It's cool, though, and it gives it such a weird... Uh, gives, it gives Thief such a weird aesthetic. Oh yeah, I can't kill anyone, damn it. I was like, oh, I'm gonna throw these guys in the pond. I'm done with them. See, it's not so bad. And for all. Okay, so let's check our objectives now because I believe that they have changed. Yeah. Uh, time to show Ramirez who the real criminal mastermind is. Break into his mansion and take whatever. Excuse me, take what he values most his wealth. The purse from his belt should make the point. Loot the mansion for valuables. You need at least 2,000 worth. Locate his prized silver fire poker. It's worth quite a bit. Get out of the mansion, don't kill anyone. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is go this way. And I think I can get into that door down there. Now, hold on, let me just check my, I think it's G, F, yeah. Okay. For this, uh, I can swim in there. I don't think I can swim against the current. We're just gonna check real quick though. Apparently I can, so that works pretty well. Or maybe I can't. There we go. Okay, I think now I'm in Ramirez's place. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go around here. Make sure there's no guards to knock out. All right. Remember, I can't kill anybody, so we gotta keep that in mind. already liking this mission setup. That's actually the first time I've ever done that. I just noticed, hey, that river seems to go precisely where I need to go, so maybe we should check it out. I don't think I can jump straight away over to it from here. So we're gonna see. If there's a better way over. That looks a little steep, but we might actually be able to land on it, so we're gonna give it a shot. This is one of those missions in Thief Gold that just feels like Thief, you know? Uh, whereas down in the Bone Horde, you know, it didn't really feel like. Always get off those tile floors as quickly as possible. And I need to find some shadows. Yeah, with the get, uh, that's another issue uh, with this game, as I've discussed before. Um, the shadows aren't as striking, and the shadow system doesn't work as well as it does in Thief 2. So it's a little hard to determine where the darkness is. Plus, I have the gamma turned up because for some reason, whenever I upload to YouTube, it's about 5,000 shades darker. So. Right, needed a little coffee to fuel the uh, burglary. And this is just such a perfect like setup for a thief mission too. You know what I mean? Like, 
somebody pissed you off, you follow them back to their house, and then you're just supposed to steal enough of their stuff to piss them off. The moment I decided to uh, start uh, binding those to uh, specific keys rather than cycling through my inventory, I don't know, my life changed that day. Master Ramirez, I beg your attention. Well, as you say, there is most certainly a breach in the Drekbun pit. My subordinates inform me that this is due to the, the encroach of hammer patrols among the patrons, and that my immediate Drekbun comptroller, Ginny, has been quite unable, or excuse me, has been unable to deal with the problem. Should this qualify as full breach, I must regretfully insist that the breach is on Ginny's part and not mine. I am, of course, happy to finish furnish all ledgers for verification. He's selling Ginny out. Ginny's like a recurring character. Ginny shows up like... Ginny works for like everybody. I think Ginny's in um, Thief Deadly Shadows. I think they're in Thief 2. Master Vryn, recall our previous conversation about untapped sources. Can you find any precedent on going into the walled off section of the... walled section of the old quarter? There's all that crap about walking evil, but you know how the hammers are. Ten to one gets... Ten to one... Okay. Ten to one gets there's all sorts of property. No known heir, free for picking without even having to pay guilt for a lawful overlook. Anyway, anyhow, no rush on this one. Better to look into it on the quiet rather than rile the hammers or let Graputo or Webster hear about it. Ramirez. So that's setting up the uh, Haunted Cathedral, which uh, will be coming up not very soon, but it will be coming up somewhat soon, so... Just try and make sure we get down from here without making too much noise. There are stairs we can take. Ooh, that was very nice. It was so dainty. Did you guys see that? I'm gonna look for any books or switches in here that just might be like little secret switches or something. Okay, nothing there. Okay, this noise sounds like John Carpenter was composing a, a soundtrack and fell asleep at the keyboard. Sorry, I paused there while I was talking because I thought um, I thought they were talking about me. I thought they had heard me, and I was like, oh, oh no. This almost certainly opens up. Look how discolored it is from all the other shelves. It's gotta be something. No, maybe one of the light posts? So again guys, this is, it's not a blind playthrough necessarily, but it's fairly close because I have not played Thief Gold in an age. So it's been, it has been quite some time. Hold on. Tired of that message popping up. I don't know if the overlay gets recorded. I, I hope it doesn't. I hope it's considered a separate program. Because um, that would be annoying. Okay, well, uh, if I knock a bunch of people out and this becomes a safe area, I'm going to come back here and, and look for... There's got to be a switch. I'm sure that's the secret compartment or something. Alright, so we're just going to say real quick. Open this door. This is just such a great mission too, because after being like stuck in the the first uh, or the the second two missions and not like barely being able to steal anything because there's not much there, it's just so nice to hear that super satisfying <laughs> loot collection sound in great abundance. Okay, let's see what our loot is looking like. 475. We're already a pretty good start. I hope this soundtrack hasn't glitched, and that's why it's just constantly playing this 
note. Because I don't I thought it was that, uh, there's like a, a song that's very popular uh, from the Thief Gold. I think it's that one that this is supposed to be. You know what, let's do this. Let's go ahead and save, and then we're gonna load it and see if it... No, oh, maybe that's correct, I don't know. With how difficult the last two missions were, I feel like this should have been the second mission. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Plot-wise, it works a little better that it's not because you it's the one where you get your lockpicks. But it's, yeah. Ooh, I got a key, very nice. Oh, here's the alarm for Ramirez's estate. Having some wine by the fire, are we? Nice. Commissioner Devnan. Oh, De... Denavin? Yeah, Commissioner Denavin. I note with displeasure that again one of my tough boys has been taken to Cragscleft. May I remind you of the substantial donations I make to your office, such that I may pursue business unhindered by idle scrutiny. May I remind you as well of your predecessor's unfortunate end. The rivers are so treacherous this time of year. I trust that you will attend to this, and if the hammers are too difficult for your policemen, I trust as well that you will let me know, Ramirez. He's not a great guy. We definitely don't need to feel... I mean, he tried to kill me, ended up killing my fence instead. Um, he's definitely not... I don't know what my buddy's doing. I'm going to try and... Hold on close all my social stuff here because I don't need to know what everyone's doing all the time I think he's like installing a bunch of mods and testing performance or something my gut would tell me he just picked up the 3080 and he's testing a bunch of RTX mods on Skyrim because I don't think he's been on Steam in a very long time he's in the military so he's probably on leave right now and just dicking around with his new toys that he got from all the money he wasn't spending And if you guys can't see the Steam overlay right now, it's not going to make a whole lot of sense, anything I just said. Okay, we're going to use that lean forward key. Come on, man. Oh, that's cool. This, okay, this is definitely like a little tech. Uh, they're just like, ooh, check out the tech in the game. Yeah, the, the, you're removing the light boxes, which but honestly, back when this game came out, this was pretty cool sort of dynamic, the beginnings of dynamic lighting. I'm just trying not to make too much noise in here, although, you know, we can just do this. Very cool. Okay, that one droning note is kind of hurting my ears a little bit. Maybe if we get into, in and out of a sound box again, it'll trigger different mute. Okay, well the note is gone, so that's fantastic. I don't think that goes anywhere we need to go right now. Yeah, we don't need to go anywhere out there right now. I think you can jump from that window to here, possibly, to get in. Hmm, strange. This is a place to hide myself or bodies or whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Let's open this door up and get out here. Let's see what we can see. Nicely done. Yeah, he's doing something. I really hope that's not his the the things aren't showing up. The overlay stuff isn't showing up. Hold on. I'm just going to give me one second. I'm actually going to look that up because that's really going to bother me. 
Especially if I'm uh, putting this up on YouTube. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, just want to make sure we're still recording. Yeah, I just had to look it up. Um, I don't know for sure. We're going to just open Steam Overlay. Can I close Steam Overlay? No, I don't want to force click. Click here, return to the game, shift tab, closes the overlay. Okay. I, t I, because I rarely get the, and I, I don't mind when I'm playing if I get pop-ups, but I just realizing that uh, it's kind of annoying. But from what I understand, if I'm using game capture and I have the uh, window manually selected for the specific game, which is the easiest way to get most games to run, by the way, if for any of you wanting to do video capture, that's, it's usually a foolproof way to get games to run. Um, so apparently the overlay won't show up if you've done it like that, but I don't know. So if it is showing up, uh, apologies. Um, there's nothing I can do about it mid-recording. Um, and I, I probably am going to need to change. There's just something I haven't thought about before, but I'm probably going to need to change my settings. Oh, no, there's nothing in there. On, uh... for my Steam overlay, or just not have it launch with games, or just turn off notifications or something. Always check paintings. Lord Ramirez, the reinforced walls and steel door have been duly installed in your counting room, but I must warn you that we cannot guarantee them against Burrick tunneling. If you do not move the creatures out of the basement into a more distant area, we cannot be held responsible for the potential damages. Told Kemrick and Sons. Okay, good to know. There's a weakened wall in the basement to the counting room. That should get us more than 2,000 loot, don't you think? A lot of empty... A lot of empty chests. Nice. I told you guys, always go through... Oh, what fresh hell is this? Actually, I have never done this before in this game. And this is actually reminding me of a bit in Thief 2 where you can sneak between the walls. This is very cool. No idea this was here. Yes! Oh, how cool is that? Oh, did that open? Oh, I see. Well, we're gonna try going through the fire. Um, hopefully it doesn't burn us. It probably will, though. This is on expert. No, it doesn't. Apparently Garrett's very nimble around uh, fireplaces. Okay, guys, sorry about that. All right, so check our objectives. We got the silver fire pro poker. We got close to 2,000 worth of gold, and we're gonna go get the thing off right off of Ramirez's belt. And I'm still gonna rob this place, but I'm gonna get absolutely everything I can, which would be in preparation for the mission, the sword, which is a good mission to prep for. You need a lot of moss arrows and water arrows for that one, but. Oh, God damn it. Ah! 
I didn't realize how big the stairwell was. I was like, eh, how can he be that close and also that far away? So we're just gonna go. Try that again. Knock this guy out. Well, that's the first time in a while a guard has noticed something. Probably because it opened up a thing, but he was pretty pissed about that tapestry not being kosher. Right, let's just throw him in here. It was all your fault. He got drunk on duty. And just checking the recording. shadowy spot here. Okay, looking good there. Let's see what's up here. Thoroughly well illuminated room. Looks, looks a little suspect. Looks like there should be like secret passage or something in here. So this game is just, I mean, this level is just after the the hell and booby traps and constant zombies and burricks that were uh, down in the bone horde, this is such a nice change of pace. And it's also very nice that Thief 2 was largely this kind of mission structure. Hold on, can I actually turn this candle off? No. I think that's it for the second level, so we're going to go on down to the first and try and start taking out some of the ground guys. Should probably make a couple more hard saves just in case. They're gonna come right for me. Look, they're on a collision course. All right, I'm just, I know when I'm not wanted. Well, let's try a different way down. I don't think that's the best way down. Although what we could do is do this. <gasps> Seems like, no, that's not gonna work either. Could try the next stairwell. Just a little bit more cover coming around here. Okay, 
looks better. Nobody's taffing about. It's all fine. Here, I dare you. It's all good. Seems peaceful enough now. <laughs> I'm gonna try and void those rooms for now. <clears throat> Get this guy now. Hey. Ah, damn it! That sometimes works. So I'm gonna wait for them to vacate their little conversation. It's in here, ooh, crown. Wait, how am I not at two? I was about to say, I'm like, I must be really close to 2000. I think we're, we're almost there. This is so cool, leaning against the door to come back here and fight. Don't think this is going to work out. I probably made the wrong choice. I need to wait for them to both exit and then I can try. Or maybe this was the right choice. Who's creeping around there? Ah, oh, damn, he's going for the alarm. All right, so we're gonna load the quick save again. I promise you guys, I can deal with these these blokes. But I am going to kind of set up this corridor though. I need to check out which way they go. I was being a little impatient, but that's okay. Okay, very nice. This guy goes this way. Move that. Okay. Looking good. Now I'm gonna see what's in this room. I think he's coming back this way. So we're just gonna lie in wait till he comes, and then we will destroy him. I don't know exactly where he goes over here, so I'm gonna stick to the corner. Maybe his pathing won't take him right next to me. Hey, what was that? Hmm. Nothing there now. <coughs> Everyone's gonna wonder what you were doing in this room. With all of the wine gone, and you passed out on the carpet. Gotta get this one, and then these two. Okay, so now we just have to steal the pouch from Ramirez, but I'm honestly gonna just do absolutely everything I can. Um, do I have to get out? Get out of the mansion, yeah. So I. Hmm. I kinda wanna check out that water station down the street, but we, it may not work out logistically. I think these are for those guards. Oh well. Is this the counting room? Alrighty.
boys, while I appreciate your enthusiasm, I must point out that breaking legs is really rather inefficient if we wish our clients to be able to pursue their rather active lives in order to immediately repay their debts. I encourage your initiative in this area. Perhaps you might take a lesson from the gardener and his hedge clippers, who trims off one branch while leaving the rest to grow, and most of our clients do start with fingers to spare. All right. Don't think this is a counting room. I'm expecting more uh, pomp and circumstance from that place. Okay. Ooh, more holes in the walls. This is probably going to lead to the library. Finally, it's going to play that bit of music. Very nice. Oh no, now we're back to the fucking single droning note. And here I am, I usually talk about like, oh yeah, Thief, it's got the best soundtrack, but I guess this is just one part. It does add some tension and sort of ambiance, but it's also kind of annoying. I'm gonna use one of the keys, I'm tired of lockpicking. Save. We're gonna go check this area out. Yes. Yeah, they got together. They had a little party in here. A little too much to drink. Here worth stealing. <laughs> Mina, dear, it's not as bad as it seems. The sir isn't so harsh if you learn his habits when he's upstairs, like the library. Uh, Cosset it with him. Oh, cosset it him. I, ca I thought it was cosset it with him. Cosset it him with tea and cakes and chat of the household doings. When he's in the cellar with his gold, though, don't dare bother him, lest he rings for you and then hop to it like the trickster's on your tail. The trickster, you say? I'm surprised there's nothing in this fountain. Like nobody dropped a ring in there or something. Well, that's another way in, I guess. That's actually... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gonna take out this guy, I think. He's gonna take out his whole crew. He seems to be veering this direction. He's probably gonna catch me, guys, so just be advised. We've gotten in drill. Yeah, see? He was, like, listing towards my direction. Oh, you know why it was probably making the music up there? He was probably in the library. I think I have enough moss arrows to completely cover that floor, but we'll see. Right on schedule. I don't want to waste the water arrows on him, so we're going to do a little investigating while he... Uh... Okay. Courtyard. There you go. 
just check on the status of our buddy over here. God, he walks so slow. There it goes. Oh my god, dude, leave me alone. Excellent. Alright. Let's take him over here. Like so. Close that door so nobody gets suspicious. Um, and we are going to go start investigating the lower levels of these halls. I'll tell you what. No. I don't want to waste resources unless I absolutely have to. Hey, this isn't supposed to look this Who's way. There? Oh god. Hello. Probably don't want to go in that room. Something nope. there. Oh god, that's a barracks. Just the wind, I guess. Oh yeah, I remember that place. Anything to steal in here? I don't think so. Show yourself. Hey, I've got a stranger here. Together, we can take them. Nothing in here that I need, I guess. I just want to see what I can get away with, guys. <laughs> it's hot pursuit here. Sort of. Yeah, you can build momentum while jumping. <gasps> ah! This place is crawling with goons. Yeah, this, another thing is the swimming in Thief Gold. I remember it, it's still not great in Thief 2, but it you don't feel like you're trapped in molasses while you're doing it. Anyways, we're going to reload that save. Yeah, we did just deal with the guard. Okay, we're good there. We don't need to go to any of those rooms, it seems. So, what about this side of the... Another closet there. Ooh, okay, here we go. Some spooky stuff down here. I don't think I bothered coming here last time. Uh, on easier difficulties, I think they just put uh, Ramirez in the library most of the time. So this is a little new to me. I'm not exactly sure where he is. And I don't think, yeah, I don't think on any playthrough, because like I said, if you play on lower difficulties, the mission just kind of ends. So I'd be like, oh, I'm going to save these things for later. And then, you know, I'd pick up his purse accidentally, and then that was it. The mission would be over. So, I, so a lot of these places I haven't explored in this game. We're gonna just test this out real quick. Go! 
Save me! Just trying to get a fix on what's going on. Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't want that. So we're gonna load real quick. Uh, yes, we'll load that. I wanna see what else is down here before we go back up to the uh, cafeteria there. I feel like there's further reaches, like it goes pretty deep down here, so. Yeah, it feels like half of what I'm doing through this uh, playthrough is just exploring, so I have some idea where to go and I can come up with a plan of attack. save over that but oh, there he is what was that oh damn it all right let's take out some of these torches here Part of me wants to knock him out so I can grab everything in here. Another part of me wants to swipe it without him knowing. I don't know how real is reasonable that's going to be, though. What was that? I'll just knock him out. I just want his stuff. It may be time for me to move along now. Don't want to wear out my welcome. Yeah, see, I figured I could have followed that guy or done something with that bit of the plot. <clears throat> Willoughby Bright, Stone Market Cut Purse, skimping on Gelt for the fifth time, not worth the trouble. Public Bounty of 200. Garrett, South Quarter, Independent Thief, denied cut three times, sent Quince and Jacow. Yeah, that's, that's right, Jacow, out to shorten him. Overlord's Fancy, Gambling Den. Check with Raputo. Is it his? Either way, someone's not talking to someone they should. Okay, uh, let's use key. It just says key. Very nice. Raputo, Warden of North Quarter. Shalebridge, New Market, New Quarter, Blood Sports. Money lending, spy watching, organization of about 20 subsidiaries, 50 personal tough boys and fire boys, contact with Shemin, Sheminovs, Webster, warden of the docks of Eastport, Dayport, rooftop breakers, rooftop breakers, protection and anti protection services, smuggling, coin faking, 12 subsidiaries, 60 tough boys, 20 odd solo contractors, strong foreign contacts, Victoria, independent fence, previously Reputos, dominates. Dominates include thief pawnage of exotic medicinals. No known organization. Contact with second tier nobility, grand library, and order of the vine. May have warden aspirations. Dorcas Goodfellow, black book under guild ambassador. Particular, Im particular importable. Dominates include magical constructs, medicinals, and elemental crystals. Okay, so we got all of his stuff down here. We are going to save and see if there's anywhere else we can explore and any more loot we can get, but I think... Ah, I probably could have found a swimming passage to get up in here and then get past those guys. But I am not messing with Burks right now. For I do not like them. Actually, they're kind of cool. There's like weird dinosaurs in Fucking Thief. Um, it's just that I don't like dealing with them in, in missions. I'm taking your bread too. Take it. I said I'm taking the bread. 
Well, I think that's everything of value here. Let's go ahead and get the hell out. Actually, let's see how much we stole. Twenty-five oh five, very nice. All objectives complete. Yeah, I think a good self-imposed challenge for this level would be to see if you can, um... Hold on. This was one of the assassins. I have a plan for this fellow. See if it counts it. Is it gonna count as a death? I don't think it is. We're gonna make a horror. Oh, no, we don't wanna save now. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna count as a death. So I killed one of the assassins, but I didn't kill him. Sweet. Also some foreshadowing with Victoria here. Very nice with that letter, that note we just read. Maybe I should head back to my own neighborhood. Those fellows don't seem too friendly. Now let's just see. Head for the safety of your near- Oh man, you really have to get out of here. Okay, let's do... G. No, let's just try opening it. I don't know why this exists, but okay. It just does. Curious, so we'll see where this goes. I wonder if this is the way to the lost city. I accidentally found it for this part of the thing. to actually consult our map. I've never done this part before. Alright, so let's see. Map. Uh, old quarter. Home turf. Right here. I don't know. I guess let's try this way. I have no idea where I am. I wish the fences shop was listed. And it's not. New market, high town, old quarter, downtown, home turf. No fucking clue where I am. This is the route that the assassins took. Maybe down this way? Nope, can't get in there. Hey, yeah. Let's go, Vamanos. I think this might be the way, guys. I have no clue. I'm 
Never had to do this part, guys. Totally had no idea about any of this. Is that you? Hey, wait, stop! Don't move! Guys. Where in the hell am I supposed to go? Holy shit. I may have to look this up. This just makes zero sense. Go, holy shit. This is cr oh, <laughs> thank god. What the hell was that? That was insane. I've never had to do that's uh, that's expert for you. Holy shit, that was pretty cool. Um, that was much more like Thief 2. You have to do that in uh, Thief 2 in a cut like one or two missions, something like that. So that was pretty cool. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and check. Yeah, we are still recording. Once again, I just want to preserve that recording, so we're going to be stopping the episode here. I didn't want to do, like, um, one mission at a time, but uh, I've just been having some issues with the recording software working the way I want it to, so we'll, we'll see. Um, but anyways, so we're going to stop recording for now. Once again, thank you for joining us. That was Assassins on Expert, and we will be coming back on the next episode, which I believe is the Downwind Thieves Guild, but I'm not 100% certain, so... We'll see when we get there.